Hi, welcome back to Tech Days IT Jams. We are here today with uh, Data Robot Asia Pacific GM, uh, Tim Young. Uh, he will be taking us through what the company is about, um, some of its products and solutions, and talking about what infrastructure and resources it has in the ANZ market. So, let's get into it. So, for people who, IT managers and enterprise users who haven't worked with data robot before what are your key products and offerings okay well thanks very much for having me um, so data robot sells uh, an automated machine learning platform that automates the development of machine learning models um, machine learning has become uh, a very uh, you know machine learning which is part of artificial intelligence has become very fashionable these days because it's all about automating business processes Machine learning models use historic data in order to make predictions about the future. So, for example, you may want to identify which of your customers are going to churn, which of your customers are going to respond to offers, whether you've got people committing fraud in your organization, spotting new market opportunity, identifying potential defects in products, and so on and so forth. So, um, Gartner, in their latest top 10 strategic technology trends for 2020, call out hyper automation as their number one trend. And, you know, clearly we can see with the disruption that COVID-19 is having on the economy, uh, I think organizations have realized that they're very, very exposed. You know, they have huge amount of risks associated with such um, catastrophic events. Now, hopefully this is a once in a lifetime event, but you know, when companies have to start sending all of their employees home, that is creating massive exposure and massive risk. And so I think Gartner is calling out automation as a key trend because it addresses this risk. I mean, essentially business can operate in a more of a lights out mode. Um, so, you know, the, the data science platform that Data Robot sells, which is intended for expert data scientists, citizen data scientists, software developers, or anyone who wants to use machine learning to predict the future, of course, fits right into the middle of that hyper automation trend. Um, you know, not only is machine learning automation because it automatically learns from the past in order to predict the future, but Data Robot itself, with its automated machine learning platform, is automating the development of these machine learning models. And of course, any IT manager will be very comfortable and very familiar with the whole notion of automation. I mean, technology just continuously automates. I remember when I first was working uh, in the IT industry back in 1987, I was working as a COBOL programmer. Now, no one would use COBOL today to, um, for software engineering purposes, and that's because largely, you know, automated techniques have allowed companies to build and deploy applications very quickly. So automated machine learning basically is just a natural evolution of the trend of manually constructing uh, machine learning algorithms. And, and this is something that while data robots invented, I mean, we launched the world's first uh, automated machine learning platform back in uh, 2015, but this is a, a trend that other, in, uh, other vendors have embraced. I mean, Google have uh, AutoML uh, and even Microsoft uh, last year announced their own automated machine learning uh, capability. So this is this is a natural evolution and absolutely should be on every IT manager's agenda. Brilliant. Thank you very much for that. So um, Data Robot has been um, very busy in the last few months. Could you explain uh, some of your most recent product announcements or what you've been improving? Sure, yeah. So, so the three products that make up uh, Data Robot are uh, Paxata, which is a company that we acquired recently, and they provide a self service data preparation software that gets data ready for machine learning. I mean, typically, all organizations that we talk to, um, you know, rarely have data ready for machine learning. I mean, data just lives in many different places across the um, enterprise, different data stores, and 
so on and so forth. I mean, organisations have struggled for the last 20 years to arrive at a single version of the truth. So Pax Arta provides a very um, feasible solution for getting around that problem by pulling data together and uh, cleaning it and preparing it and getting it ready for machine learning. Um, so yeah, Pax Arta was a, was a big acquisition that we made a few months ago. And then um, we recently launched a product which is MLOps, which also a uh, combined product that we had for deploying and monitoring machine learning models, uh, but with an acquisition that we made of a company called Parallel M. So MLOps is all about deploying and monitoring models, making sure that they remain fresh in light of business changes. And historically, MLOps was always closed. It was a, it was a capability that could only deploy data robot developed models uh, now, today, it can deploy models that have been out, uh, uh, been developed outside of the data robot environment. So that, that's kind of very important and that's necessary to support, um, uh, you know, an all encompassing machine learning strategy. Um, the other product we have, which is really the core of data robot is our ML, ML dev product and that supports regression time series classification models. Uh, and it uses open source algorithms such as TensorFlow and R. So essentially it's, it's replicating what a, a data scientist would do. So a few weeks ago, we launched release six of, um, of our uh, automated machine learning platform, which now incorporates visual AI. So the ability to uh, create models that use uh, images, it incorporates deep learning, I mentioned that MLOps opens us up to non-data robot models. Uh, we've also massively beefed up our automated feature engineering. I mean, our goal is to get from data to prediction as quickly and as easily as we possibly can. Um, last week, we announced that we had acquired a piece of technology from Boston Consulting Group. It's a piece of technology called Source AI. It's basically a data science notebook. And, um, you know, that's really important to support, you know, data scientists who may be working on, you know, very complex and very sophisticated models that, you know, a data robot can't necessarily handle through automation. Uh, so now we've bolstered that capability for data scientists, making data scientists even more happy, uh, happy with our platform. And then yesterday, uh, we announced something called the Applied Data Science Academy. So this is a training program that's all about getting business analysts, data analysts, and citizen data scientists uh, up to um, data science standards. So that's, that's a free course. Uh, it's, I think it's 60 hours of online training, and I think it includes 40 hours of um, you know, practical uh, tests. You know, and I think, I think that would be really cool for, you know, anyone that has been negatively impacted by coronavirus, which tragically is a lot of people these days, you know, that could be an interesting course, you know, a, a business analyst who wants to beef up their skills uh, and, and add uh, elements of data science to their bow. I mean, I think that would be something that I would certainly recommend. So yeah, lot, lots going on, but they're just some of the things that I just pulled out from the last few months. Brilliant. So you have a lot of things going on uh, in the global market. We will bring it a little closer to home now. So what infrastructure or resources do you have here in the Australia and New Zealand markets? Yes, yeah, so we have um, uh, we have an office in uh, uh, in Sydney. So we're supporting uh, Australia and New Zealand from that office and we're also, we have partners on the ground in uh, New Zealand, and so we're working through partners. Brilliant, all right. So if an, a partner or an enterprise end user wanted to engage with Data Robot, what is the best way that they can do so? Well, uh, they can make their checks payable to Data Robot and they can send them through to me at tim.young uh, at datarobot.com. Um, but seriously, no, just, just, just send me uh, uh, an email, tim.young at datarobot.com or, or go to our website and you can get uh, contact information for the uh, Sydney office. Brilliant. All right. Thank you so much for talking to us, Tim. Uh, this was uh, Tim Young, uh, 
Data Robot Asia Pacific General Manager. Thank you very much for talking to us today. Good, and thank you for having me.